Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's look at another super cool USB-C hub by the brand Lenshin. I already unboxed that iPad standing dock USB-C hub on my channel and guys, I seriously love it and I use it on a daily basis. This one which I have here has got even more ports and comes in a nice form factor to make it super convenient. So let's get on with the unboxing first. Nice packaging. First, it's the manual. Then the dock itself. Wow, that is light. I was expecting a bit more weight, but it is light. Below, we have a cable tidy. Under that is the stand. Now the stand has got a nice heft to it, so it makes the whole thing sturdy. And then the warranty info. And then we have the USB-C cable in this sleeve. You get this nicely braided one. There is branding on both of the USB Type-C ports and it is of decent length. Let's look at the hub in a bit more detail here. It's got this metallic finish and it's definitely lighter than expected. Ports wise, you have three USB 3.0 ports, an SD card and micro SD card slot, along with 3.5 mm headphone output. On the other side, you have a USB Type-C port, a PCI connection port, you know, if you use older monitors, then a HDMI port, an Ethernet port, and then another USB Type-C port, which can be used for power delivery as well. Let's get this onto the stand. Let's peel off the bottom film. And then the nice rubber grip. It keeps it steady and holds the dock in place. You just slide the dock into the stand and this is how it looks. Now let's get connecting stuff. I know this dock is more useful for a laptop, but let's test it out with the iPad Pro first. I'm connecting here via the USB Type-C port. Let me plug in an SD card first. And as you can see, it works fine. Next, let me try a USB pen drive. Again, it works fine without any issues. Next, let's try that power delivery port. So I've got this standard USB Type-C power adapter. I'm going to plug this into the power delivery port here. And if you can see, the iPad is charging. Now, let me connect a bigger hard drive via this USB 3.0 port. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. That pass through charging is definitely helping these external drives, which require a bit more power. So very useful USB hub here, guys. If you're planning to use it with your iPad Pro or iPad Air 4, it works perfectly fine. It gives you all these additional ports and also allows pass through charging, which means you can connect bigger hard drives and make it work with the iPad Pro or iPad Air 4. Let me tidy this up a bit and this is how you can make it look pretty neat with everything nicely tucked away. Now I would like to test out that power delivery via USB 3.0 ports. So let me try plugging in the Apple Watch charger and then get the Apple Watch. And as you can see, it charges the watch. So you can not only use this as a standard hub, but also as a charging station, as long as you've got power delivery feeding into the dock. Here is the hub connected to my Windows laptop and it just works fine. I will move it now to my work desk setup and let's start plugging in things. First, let's plug in the monitor via HDMI cable. It works fine. This HDMI port supports up to 4K resolution. Then the SD card, that's fine. My USB fan, perfect for a hot day like today. And then the USB hard drive. See, it is perfect for your laptop or Ultrabook, especially if you don't have many ports. This hub gives you all the ports that you will ever need, including the Ethernet port, which supports gigabit speeds. And yes, the 3.5 mm headphone port. Works perfectly fine as well and is super useful if you have the iPad Air 4 or the iPad Pro which don't have a headphone jack. 
So there you go guys, an amazing and super useful dock that has every port that you'll ever need and the stand makes it nice and convenient to use on your desk. I highly recommend this brand guys, they do some amazing docks. All the links are in the description box below, so please do check them out. So that's all for the video. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, definitely hit that thumbs up button guys. And the subscribe button is just a few pixels away. Please hit that and support me and be a part of Team Rav Media. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.